Welcome back everyone. Once more we are on the road heading to Chester again. Well Chester and vicinity so uh, once more I am going to visit uh, North Wales which is so far my favorite route. So yeah, this is gonna be exciting. The day is beautiful. Like weather is, is just fine. Uh, I got everything set up. Uh, my sat, well, I got uh, waypoints programmed onto my sat nav. So all I have to do is to just visit the same stores as I did yesterday, in the same order as I did yesterday, and hopefully much quicker than I did yesterday. Uh, but again, it's Tuesday. Uh, I've already picked up everything yesterday. I got much less drop-offs. Uh, I got much less pickups today. It should be nice and easy. I, well, probably I won't be home anytime soon because it's a long route. Uh, it's 30 mile drive. Well, 35 to my first drop-off. Uh, so uh, that's a longer drive than the battery can last in, in my... Go left on the roundabout uh, the first exit, in my GoPro. So you can imagine that it is a long drive, yes. But we're gonna get there eventually. And today, since I don't have to pick up like a few hundreds of parcels from each shop, uh, it's, it's gonna be like a piece of cake, honestly. Uh, I really like this route. Uh, I, I haven't really spoken with uh, with my manager about keeping it for for longer uh, because I really enjoy it. Honestly, like wow. Uh, when I've seen yesterday the schedule for today and that I'm on the same route, I was really like you. You can't imagine how wide smile I had on my face. It, it, it's just like this is the best route that I could imagine. Uh, obviously there, there is another one in North Wales and, and I look forward to try it. Uh, I heard it's even longer so you get plenty of, well plenty, you get nine shops on, on the list uh, but you get those long drives so you got 10-15 miles uh, between shops so it's like half an hour, an hour be uh, between you can actually do a drops and Usually, the shops that you are visiting are the only shops in large vicinity. So people are just coming there to, to send parcels. Um, so you can imagine that yeah, you, you are picking up large volumes. Uh, but uh, you get to see all those nice, beautiful views of North Wales. Well. I'm not sure if it's entire. Yeah, I think it's North Wales. North. In fact, it, it might be North West Wales. So it's, it's even better. So you can imagine. Yeah, this is. Wow, it, is this guy for real? He's not even doing 50 miles an hour at the moment. Right, I, I need to change the lane, but I can do so after I, I get ahead of, of this truck and he's gonna be a perfect blocker and now what I'm gonna do is this and there we go we are on on the correct lane now I can drop it down to 60 and we're going straight through uh, on M50 well uh, towards M57 there we go yeah, so as I mentioned before, it's it's a lovely route. Uh, I really enjoyed it yesterday. Uh, made few mistakes, but obviously if you drive on an unfamiliar area and if you have to rely solely on sat-nav, your eyes, and, and, and you have to like find the shops uh, because postcodes can lead you anywhere uh, within 
some area uh, from the shops. Uh, I had that, for example, my last shop, uh, Satnav just stopped in, in some village three miles away from, from the actual shop. Uh, and, and you see, uh, I, I had a lot of searching right at the end of the shift. Uh, so eventually I, I managed to program it. And uh, now that I, now I got Waypoint right at the place where I was parked. Uh, when I arrived to the shop. So when I bring that waypoint back from, from my satnav, it should take me exactly where I want to go. I won't have to search anything. Uh, as soon as I hit the uh, waypoint, I, I pretty much need to find a place to park and I'm right at the store. I don't need to look for anything. I don't need to uh, keep searching. By the way, that's that's one of our vans. Uh, that's uh, Volkswagen Crafter. Uh, today I'm I'm again driving uh, Ford Transit, long wheelbase, and I managed to clean the window. Uh, so if uh, you will probably see that on earlier on in the video, uh, because yeah, I'll probably make it into one video, maybe two. I I don't know. It's it's like I haven't even started editing this thing, and I'm already recording another one. How broken I am! <laughs> now, that, that's what I get for finishing at uh, quarter to eleven in, in the afternoon. And to give you an insight at what time I start, I start at ten in the morning. So it's a very long shift uh, as a van driver, uh, which is probably something that many people won't like. Yes, you spend a long time uh, outside of your home. Uh, but you get to travel a lot uh, definitely you get to travel places uh, obviously in, in my case yeah I, I visit different stores and, and I pick up parcels and, and drop off parcels so uh, maybe it's it's not as exciting but when, when you are driving to the place and, and if you know the route uh, it's surprising how how much time you, you start to find yes so today I'm, I'm traveling on familiar route I, I literally did the same route yesterday I cleared it, so I don't expect large volume of parcels. Of course, the, there will be some. Uh, there's always some, and like I, I, I might come back to the shop and find that uh, a shop that I actually cleared and left it at zero now has, let's say, 100 parcels. It is possible. Uh, one of the shops I, I'm expecting to ha uh, to actually have a large volume of parcels because it's pretty much uh, one of those shops that is. The only one in large area so it covers like 15 probably yeah, probably like 15 square uh, miles uh, it's obviously mostly fields and forests uh, but those few villages uh, that are around so people are still doing shopping and, and stuff like that so obviously eventually some of them will venture to that shop to send or receive parcel and you can't avoid this and, and this is something that keeps me working all right we're back on the road Mark 300 yards turn left slip lane oops uh, i need to slow down yeah we are going too quick uh that's 20 mile an hour road yeah you have to really watch out in wales uh, because a lot of war, uh, a lot of roads, like this one, for example, Turn left. are limited to 20 miles an hour. Right. I, I, I'm not quite sure whether. Well, let's wait. Uh, I'm still turning right, but since they got light control junction we have to wait and now we're gonna go on one of the roads <laughs> that is really funny uh, it is really funny because oh, okay I, I can now go Yeah, it is very narrow. <laughs> <laughs> it, 
it's it's one of the roads that you will encounter while traveling in oops uh, I, ah, not, now i know why uh yeah I, I was on the first gear instead of third uh right anyway <laughs> Uh, it's one of the roads that you will encounter in, in Wales. Uh, so it's pretty much single line, single file, but it's a two-way road. So there might be cars coming from the opposite direction. And obviously then you got those escape uh, places where, where you just, you know, just jump to the side. Uh, obviously you don't want to travel too fast on, on these roads because if something emerges from behind that curve you want to be able to hit the brakes and obviously you don't have to slam them but unless someone is really really going quick then you want to slam the brakes to be the vehicle that is actually stopped uh, because in, in terms of collision the vehicle that is effectively stopped is not at fault yes and since i'm recording i got video footage of everything so <laughs> Well, not a, not everything because I, I don't have a dash cam fitted into this vehicle, which is probably one suggestion that I would make to my employer to fit the dash cams uh, in case of uh, something happens. Uh, because things may happen, yeah. And uh, to be honest, I'm I'm on a higher risk because I drive much more than other drivers. Yes. So obviously. Since I, I am on the road much more than others, I have a much more occasions or opportunities to actually get into collision, which we obviously don't want, but uh, it may happen. It's not impossible. And that's another example of a road that you might encounter in Wales. Again, it is very narrow. It's not my favorite road to, to drive on. It's very steep. And you might encounter people like that. Uh, he was driving way too quick. Uh, thankfully, I, I had room to escape. Otherwise, we would be in, in a little bit of a stampede. Uh, but yeah, th those are things that, that you will encounter. Of course, I could have continued on, on that road and eventually my satna would redirect me, uh, more or less. Uh, but this is the quickest way to, to get to my destination. And of course, we all want to get to, to our destination. So, as you can see, it's a very narrow road. It has 60 miles an hour speed limit. Because technically it is classed as such road. Uh, of course, I, I don't want to go too quick. Uh, I will be going a bit quicker on more straight sections. But approaching, approaching the curves, you want to slow down to avoid situations like that. There we go. See, uh, you can encounter pedestrians. Uh, I believe in this area it wouldn't be uncommon to also encounter a horse rider in here. So you need to be very careful. Look for openings. Uh, look for look ahead, definitely, uh, because if something jumps uh, from behind that corner, you don't want to be driving too quick. Because you want to be able to slam the brakes. Uh, even if you stole the vehicle, there's nothing wrong with that, to be honest. I stole this vehicle many times, uh, mostly because I can't get used to uh, to the clutch. Um, because, yeah, the clutch in this van is new. <laughs> the clutch in my car is probably older than me. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So, so the clutch that I got in my private car is, is not in the best condition and I, I, I would probably need to invest a little bit uh, in 
uh, getting that fixed and replaced. Uh, but obviously, first things first. Ooh. Okay. There we go, see? Uh, meetings are quite common in here. And then you end up rubbing the hedgerows. <laughs> So you need to be very careful. On, on this road you don't want to rush, uh, you want to take your time 20-30 miles an hour, that's perfect. Uh, it's, it's just a short section. Uh, there's probably some, some leaves and, and, and stuff. Okay, he's letting me through. There we go. See, that, that's another thing about Wales. I, I like how people drive here. They, they are considerate. They understand, okay, I'm driving a white vehicle. I'm delivering something to their shops uh, because very likely that's the scenario. And, and they are not trying to, to be dicks and they are not trying to, to like push themselves through. We all have time, yes. Uh, people in, in Wales seems to be a little bit more laid back. Uh, of course, I, I need to also be considerate of, of people around. Uh, especially when, when there are children around, because you never know what they will do and you don't want to injure or, or kill someone's child. Uh, so that's another thing, yes, it, it, it's part of the job, it's part of my job, obviously. If you want to go for a relaxing drive, this is a nice place to, to go, uh, but obviously be considerate and, and uh, be careful while driving on, on these roads, uh, because anything may happen, and, and those are very narrow roads uh, as well, so you have to... Oh dear lord, this is going to be interesting. Road, then take the second left. Okay, I'm gonna hide to the left. There we go. Uh, did I left enough space for this guy? Yeah, last thing I want to do is to damage company's car or van. And since uh, the guy in the tractor has very limited vision. Turn left, 851 North Up Road, uh, then take the second left. I took that escape route. Turn left, 851 North Up Road, there we go. then take the second left. And off we go. Uh, I definitely need to keep my uh, GoPro charged and I got I got three batteries but the thing is uh, an average lifespan of, of a single battery is about 40 minutes or until GoPro decides to overheat uh, and that thing heats up really quickly uh, so I, I'm not quite sure when this thing will eventually stop recording because hey it, it does its own thing, honestly. Even yesterday, it, it was doing its own things, and and uh, at, at, at some point, I, I was really, really upset with uh, with my GoPro. Uh, but I managed to, to get a nice uh, uh, time lapse uh, because accidentally, when I, when I was trying to restart my GoPro, it decided, you know what? Let's record a little time lapse for you. Yards, <laughs> go right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit. A five forty one. We are back again, just need to maneuver to avoid hitting that lady's bike and this guy's stuff. 
stuff. There we go. And now we observe. Because we have to turn right. after that beamer no see that's something you get often in in the UK when one side is clear and you could continue the other side isn't but I made it rather abrupt stop but we made it. There we go. Beautiful. We made it. We made it. Uh, sat enough. Well, uh, yeah, Satnav couldn't really follow what I'm trying to do. Uh, but it eventually caught up. Uh, it, it caught up. Uh, After 300 yards, go left on the right, so that's four that stores closed and it's fire. half past one. I consider this a good time. So, yeah, compared to yesterday, when I was finishing this shop, at the left on the roundabout and take the first exit. That was 10 to 3, I believe, when I was finishing this shop. So you can see the massive improvement. Okay, now I need to hide. Yeah, this this is one of the roads where you need to watch out and be very careful because Because it's very narrow, there is plenty of uh, plenty of cars parked uh, on the side, and, and there we go. This, this is one of one of the examples of what's gonna happen. And you, you don't really get much space in here. Obviously, this guy pushed in, but I, I'm driving a van, so I, I can squeeze in. I got a priority. But that doesn't mean that I can't be careful. You have to be very careful because sometimes people assume that they will get a priority. And that's not a case. Again, I have to remember that I'm driving much wider vehicle than normally. Uh, my car isn't that wide. The uh, van itself, I believe the cabin is about two meter. Yeah, I, I think it's about two meter wide, which is uh, already more than a normal car. And on top of that, I got sticky mirrors. So I believe, yeah, uh, for transit, which is the vehicle that I'm driving today, uh, is two meters, 30 centimeters wide, uh, if you count mirror to mirror. So, you need to be very careful. Obviously, it isn't as bad as driving, let's say, uh, a truck, because truck would be even wider. But it is still wide. Right, you need to be very careful for cattle, horse riders, and other uh, and other people that might be on these roads. You never know what you're going to find. We got two and a half miles. 
that's a nice and relaxing drive. It, it isn't too shabby. We should be at our destination relatively soon. And then we got 15 mile drive, which is a solid half an hour to, to our next destination because our, our, the, the next shop is pretty far away. And then from that shop, we're going back another 15 miles, which isn't ideal, but that's our route. Uh, we do a couple more pickups, drop-offs, and if I'm lucky today, I, I might even try for like 6 p.m. finish, or maybe 7 p.m. finish, in fact. Uh, it depends how many parcels I will have to pick up in, in other places, but yeah, I, I should be able to get back to depot by 8. about my intentions a little bit sooner so that you can so that you can adjust your course there we go that is a nice road look at that don't go too quick through junctions like that especially in villages because that might be very very tricky 40 miles an hour is solid we might speed up to 50 but again can't see what's after that hill and there we go there's a car you see nice and slow nice and slow looks like a learner's tree uh, perhaps many learner drivers uh, managed to, to like uh, hit that tree for some reason I don't know anyway there are some nice routes to visit today and I'm telling you we're gonna watch this we're gonna watch this well, you're gonna watch this. Uh, I've seen this live. <laughs> Turn right. There we go, nice and slow. Okay. We are back on the road with fifth stop finished. I am literally blocking the road because that tractor is parked in such a brilliant position that there is no way for me ah, there we go yeah there was no way for me to <laughs> to get out uh, because uh, someone parked this tractor way too close to the exit and obviously I had to occupy entire lane uh, in order to see what's behind the tractor anyway uh, as you can see 15 miles to go uh, and that's 15 miles throughout beautiful countryside 
So what I'm gonna do, I will leave you with a time lapse and I won't be saying anything.
we are back on the road again oh wow this car was properly smashed is it let me just readjust the camera okay nice and slow because as you can see it is very 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 narrow road oh uh, yeah with that mini you need to run away Madame, you have so much space to the curb. Sixteen miles. That's how long I will have to drive uh, before my next uh, stop. So that is a long, long route. Ooh, uh, 
it is struggling on. There we go. On fourth gear, it seems to be pulling much, much better. So, yeah, uh, today, to be honest, I, I picked kind of similar number of parcels so far. Uh, although uh, shops are providing them much, in much more uniform way. Uh, yesterday I had a shop with let's say 40-50 parcels and then it was followed by a shop with 200. Uh, today uh, each and every shop is uh, giving me like uh, between 60 and, and 120 parcels. Uh, so it's, it's not too bad, not too bad. Uh, I have a bit of uh, uh, packages in in the van. Uh, it's it's not empty, definitely. It it, it will never be, uh, providing that uh, Wales has so poor coverage of uh, of those outlets. So uh, you know, uh, people are willing to send parcels after all, and and they will be traveling to to send them. And it's my job to go around and and pick them up. Anyway, anyway, uh, enough of me talking about work. Let's enjoy the scenery. Uh, this is basically a way back from from that one unique shop. Uh, we're gonna see a little bit more of a countryside before we get back to Chester and, and neighborhood.
Alright everyone, looks like we are going back to Warrington. I finally finished last drop uh, in this area. Oh, uh, we will need to squeeze through. There we go. Narrow roads. See, that's that's the thing I, I was dealing with for entire day. All right, welcome back, everyone. I have finished work, uh, although that was yesterday. <laughs> yes. Uh, Continuing my, my old tradition of uh, messing things up, uh, yesterday I thought I, I was recording a video, uh, unfortunately I, I forgot to turn on the camera. <laughs> so I've been talking to myself uh, for entire entire trip back home uh, from, from my work and yeah, that, that wasn't my greatest moment, I shall say. Anyway. Uh, we're back, we're back, so I hope you enjoyed uh, the trip uh, along North Wales uh, and hopefully I will be able to, to continue with, with this series. Uh, it all depends on you. Uh, make sure to share, like and subscribe the video. Don't forget to join my Discord server and I shall catch you next time. Cheerio!